Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create documents. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have Word open and by default along this right side here, you're going to see all of your templates that are in the featured area. You can also have personal templates, so if you've created a template file, it would show up over here. I have a video on how to do that and that's in my Word playlist. To create a blank document which has nothing on it and has all of Word's default settings, you could either click right here on blank document or on your keyboard you could press escape. And if you press escape it'll open this up. The default name is document1 and it's exactly what it said, a blank document. I could do control and scroll to zoom out on the document and you can see that there's nothing on this one. If I ever want to start up a new file while I have Word open, I go right here to the file tab and I go to new. This takes you back to that default screen, which shows your featured templates. Notice some of the featured templates change over time. You have a resume right here, a calendar over here, a cover letter down here, and a bunch of other templates that you could choose from. Now what some people don't know is that there's all kinds of templates, and you could actually search for them right up here. It says search for online templates. And if you click this, you could type things in here like, I'll type the word food, and you'll see that it will bring up everything here that's kind of related to food. You see a restaurant brochure, restaurant newsletter, and then you see some other things that have been tagged with food in it. So over here you're going to see along the right side that you could actually sort and filter by category and so throughout all of this list I can see that there are certain things that are maybe more related to food than others. And so what I could do here is I could say hey you know what I'm creating a uh, food and nutrition document and if I click right here on food and nutrition I'll see everything here so it says like jar labels party menu event menu and I have a few templates to work with which is pretty nice now what's also cool is if you have other office applications on your um, computer you can see right down here Publisher has 18 different templates, Access has one, PowerPoint has two, and Excel has five. So if you've never used Publisher before, you can see that there's 18 templates related to food. Publisher probably has a good option for you on this one. So, And if you need to learn Publisher, I do have a Publisher playlist on my channel as well. So let's say that I want to type in something else here. Let's type in school. Now I'm going to get all templates related to school. Over here on the category, I could actually filter by education. So that they're more specific and I could even filter further by clicking back to school. This will only give me results that have tagged back to school and education in them. So they should be specifically related to either some sort of planning or going back to school or just college in general or higher education or even regular education. So you see over here we have a course syllabus, a lesson plan calendar, weekly assignment calendar, so on and so forth. So this narrows the results down and if I were to go over here I could unfilter those results right here by category and I took out everything but education and so now it's back to the original search. Alright, so now all I want, want to do is click on these and it's going to bring up a larger view of them. And I can see this one, education brochure, who it's provided by. A lot of these will be Microsoft Corporation. And then over here it'll give you details about it. Okay, you can hit this next button right here to view the next one and you can see what this one is used for and then I could hit next again to see what this one is used for. So the cool thing about these templates is that you could go back or forth to view everything that's in them and then you could choose one that you like. So as you guys could see there's plenty of template options to choose from in Microsoft Word and uh, these are just a couple of them that you can choose. Now when you find one that you like, okay let's say I scroll through here and I'm gonna find one that I like, how about this one right here? I click on create that's going to download the template and it's going to open up right here. Now obviously the pictures and things that are on here are by default and you may need to change these and adjust the uh, text obviously which is not even in any sort of words but this is what the preview looks like. So we open this one up and one thing that we do have to notice is down here there are now two Word documents open. It didn't close this original document one which we had already created so uh, just note that that other one is still there uh, it's called document one by default and I'm gonna close out of that one and you see that this one is called document two so that's how you search for 
uh, templates and create brand new documents in Microsoft Word. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit about uh, getting that starting point. So are you going to want to start with your blank document or are you going to want to start with a template? That's something for you to, to decide depending on your project that you're working on. So if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have a great rest of your day.